All right, hey, as you see, Ellie ain't in here. I know I haven't done any videos. I got nothing to do. I ain't, I ain't doing nothing. Well, I'm doing stuff, but I ain't doing no trucking stuff. But thought I'd give you an update, and I'll put some pictures in here. Uh, my mechanic sent me. All is good. Ellie's torn down. Um, uh, he did. Uh, he did find, and this is why I do what I do. You know, a lot of guys say keep running it, keep running it. But I actually had a liner that was starting to drop. It only dropped a couple thousands, which wasn't much. And uh, but if it would have continued, and who knows when, you know. If it had dropped, then you're looking at a hook to get home. So I'm glad I put it in when I put it in. And he's just going to cut all the counter bores and make everything nice and perfect. You know, a lot of those uh, water wrenches would just say, oh, that's good enough, throw it in. Maybe it worked, maybe it wouldn't, but it would be uneven. So uh, he is a perfectionist like me. That's why I take it to him. He's got as high levels as OCD as I do. So all is well, I hope you guys are doing good out there. Um, I'm not gonna say I can't wait to get back out there cause uh, yeah, no, I'm enjoying my time off. Well, not really, not today. Today I'm having evil thoughts towards engineers. I'll spin this around and show you what I'm doing. Might be interesting, might not. It's not the most fun thing to do, but this little project I've been putting off on my wife's van. It's not as bad as I thought, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, these oil coolers leak and uh, it was leaking coolant out the front plug. In fact, I'll show you where it was leaking and I'll show you where the genius engineers decided to put this. So, and then I will put the pictures at the end, I guess we'll drop them in there. And if I can think of some kind of trucking video to do, I'll do it, but I'm going to be down. What's today? Wednesday. Oh yeah. Another week at least. So I mean, they may have it together by next Tuesday or Wednesday, and maybe I'll go do one run. I don't know. Then we got Talladega coming up, so I might just take some extra time off. It is what it is. All right, we'll flip this around and show you what I'm doing, what kind of shenanigans I'm doing. So, all right, I'm doing this because <laughs> they charge you an obscene amount of money to fix this in a, in a shop, and uh, it's I, they really overcharge for this. I don't know. I've heard some crazy prices, so I, I'm not going to go into all that. But as sucky as it is, it's costing me uh, $250 and maybe three hours, something like that. And I've never done it before. Not that it's rocket science, but if you did it a few times, you could trim some time off that. So let me show you. All right, didn't want to play it first. So here's a is an oil cooler. The OEM one is plastic. I got an all aluminum one. I don't know. That should be better. I don't know if you could see it. Those plugs was what was leaking. Both of them, the oil and the coolant. And it's just, you can't tell, but they're kind of all distorted. I can't get a good angle on it, guys. I'm not going to move this too much because you can see it's making a mess. But the plastic distorted and it started leaking. So I got this all aluminum one with metal plugs. It won't leak, hopefully. Should be better. A lot of gaskets, so. And then the cooler somewhere. It's in the box. I'm going to put it on top here. Anyway, so I'll show you how much fun it is to get to it on the, the wife's racing wagon. It's way down in there. It's underneath. You got to pull the intake manifold off. There's just two, an upper and lower get the fuel lines off fuel injectors out well not the injectors out but un unplug them and then clean that mess down in there it was full of oil and water i got it cleaned out good enough i gotta set this other one down in there so yay turning wrenches not my favorite thing all right y'all let me flip it around that's all i got i got the whole shop empty the trailer is sitting out back so I can pull these grates up and clean all the gunk out of them. See the trailer? Yeah. Just sitting out behind the shop. I don't know why I showed you that. All right, y'all. God bless you. We'll see you. And uh, obviously no money in news. Maybe I'll do a money in news this weekend, but it'll just be news. I don't really have any news. Not trucking stuff. See that bridge fall down in Maryland? That was terrible. Man, oh man. All right, guys, we'll see you. Bye bye.